take the snap ring off the speedo gear. Slide the speedo gear off. Pull the ball out. Put the speedo gear so it's right in the shaft here. Take the second snap ring off. Right there. Got a thrust washer. Got a retaining washer. So this washer fits over these to keep them together. It's just a retaining washer. This one here has a retaining nut on it. This is for the fifth gear. You run that on. Uh, I had already pulled this one off. Your bearing separator. Since it's such a long run, you have to rig up a bunch of crap with a uh, threaded rod. The extensions you get in your uh, bearing separator kit are quite long enough to do this. Make sure you even everything up so you get a straight hit on it. Just that easy. Piece of junk. You got the same thing. You got a retaining washer that fits over it, and then two washers that fit inside it. Yeah. And you got a washer with a ball bearing retainer, a little ball retainer. This is the same way the Speedo gear was. It's got a little slot in there and then a ball rest in the shaft. Slide fifth gear off. Synchro ring. Reverse gear. I'm just going to take off this gland nut on the main shaft on the output side to get the rest of the gear set off uh, using a tubing crow's foot, inch and five eighths, and a breaker bar. I'll take off the rest of the retainers for the shift ports. Uh, for that little shift retainer here, you got a spring and a ball. Pretty simple. And the gears just slide off. Press washer. Out the bearing retainer and uh, reverse gear idler. Take out the reverse gear idler and the retainer. On top of that reverse gear idler is going to be a thrust washer under the retainer. Alright, now we're going to pull off this uh, 
main bearing, uh, main carrier assembly, center carrier. Pull it off of the uh, this shift selector rod. Input shaft just fell off uh, with a race or a bearing. This is the bearing that was seized up. So you got your synchro for its gear and a needle bearing that fits in there. Now, all that remains on the main shaft is a thrust washer. Pull off the shift lever, the gear, the synchro. Slide this off, the splines. The synchro came with it. last gear slides off with the bearing in there. So uh, here's your counter shaft. It's got a little thrust washer there and then the rest of these gears are all one piece onto the shaft so you just got to pull that, this bearing here off. All right well I threw all that junk in the river um, so I'll continue on with what I got left here, which is just uh, this bearing, uh, which is the input shaft, what's left of it, and uh, the counter shaft, uh, the bearing that's left on it. Um, I'm going to pull the uh, snap ring off of this input shaft bearing. Alright, I've already got the snap ring off of this one. so. Uh, take these two to the press and uh, I guess that's it because uh, I need a new transmission because uh, mine's gone. Alright, we got our bearing spreader on there on this bearing on the uh, counter shaft. The snap ring's already off. Uh, go ahead and press it out. Bearings off. And there is the locked up bearing for the input shaft. I'm going to demonstrate pushing the bearings out of the center support housing. They're not in very tight. You want to make sure you keep the, uh, the shim that's under the bearing. And that had shims also 